Staging of colorectal cancer is very important. It is almost asked in all entrance exams. So let's see how it goes. Coming to the T stage, it is divided into T1, T2, T3 and T4. It is slightly different from that of esophageal and stomach cancers. I'll show you how. So T I S in stomach gastric cancer is in is no involvement of lamina propria. It is confined to epithelial layer. Whereas in case of colorectal cancers, T I S is involved invasion up to lamina propria. So what is the next layer? Muscularis mucosa is T1. Submucosa is also T1. There is no further subdivision as T1 A and T1 B as seen in gastric cancers. Then T2 is same for all GI cancers except for gallbladder cancers which I will be discussing separately. T2 is muscularis propria. T3 is perimuscular connective tissue. Just outside the muscularis propria but confined within the serosa. T4 is further divided into T4A and T4B. T4A is breach of serosa. That is perforation. T4B is invasion into adjacent structures. The adjacent structures could be peritoneal wall. Direct invasion, not metastasis, it is direct invasion. Retroperitoneum, kidney, ureters. Coming to N, which is a little confusing. We have N1 and N2. N1 is further divided into 1A, 1B, and 1C n2 into 2a and 2b first let's see 1a 1b 2a 2b based on the number of lymph nodes one lymph node two to three lymph nodes four to six and more than or equal to seven lymph nodes and one sees presence of the subserosal deposits suppose this is ascending colon cross section anterior wall is covered by peritoneum and this is the peritoneal wall There are tumor deposits along the bowel wall in the subserosal layer or along the mesentery or in the pericolorectal tissue. And this is the tumor. Then coming to M staging. M1 is divided into 1A, 1B and 1C. In 1A, there is involvement of one distant organ, two or more distant organs, one C is presence of peritoneal deposits. Suppose this is ascending colon, this is abdominal wall, and this is our primary tumor deposits in the peritoneum is 1C. In 1A and 1B, only solid organs are involved, peritoneal deposits are not present. In 1C, there could be, there could be other distinct organ involvement as well, along with peritoneal deposits. So T1 is carcinoma in situ with involvement of lamina propria with no extension to muscularis mucosa. T1 is invasion into submucosa through the muscularis mucosa but not into the muscularis propria. T2 is same as for all other tumors which is muscularis propria. T3 is pericolorectal tissues outside the muscularis propria. T4A is invasion through the visceral peritoneum which includes cross perforation of the bubble through tumor and continuous invasion of tumor through areas of inflammation to the surface of the visceral peritoneum. T4B is invasion or adherence to adjacent organs or structures. N1 is divided into 1A, 1B and 1C. 1A and 1B based on the number of regional lymph nodes involved. 1, 2 to 3. 1C, there are no regional lymph nodes positive but tumor deposits in the subserosa, mesentery and non-maritonalized pericolic 
the rectal or mesorectal tissues. N2A is number of lymph nodes 4 to 6, N2B is 7 or more lymph nodes. And M staging is M1 is presence of lymph node metastasis, M1A is one site, M1B is two or more sites, M1C is involvement of peritoneum.